Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again at OptionAlpha.com and in this video we are going to talk about Exponential Moving Averages or EMAs. So some background here on Exponential Moving Averages. They're the second most widely used technical indicator when it comes to moving averages in stock charts. It's, again, it's a very easy, simple indicator to look at. It gives simple and clear signals. And what happens with an exponential moving average versus just a regular simple moving average, which we've covered in other videos, is that exponentials give more weight to recent prices and then are calculated by applying a percentage of today's close to yesterday's moving average. So again, it's going to be a little bit more reactionary. It's going to move a little bit quicker with the market. Generally speaking, it's going to be virtually the same, and I'll show you visually on the chart. But again, it's going to give more weight to those recent prices. So the real advantage of using exponentials over simple moving averages is, again, that they're going to pick up short-term volatility and quicker moves. With a simple moving average, you're not going to get as much movement in the indicator uh, because they're still lagging the market and are just going to factor in today's close or yesterday's close as just another data point. But with exponential moving averages, it's going to factor in today's move in a much higher uh, rate or percentage of the overall average. So let's look at the indicator formula here just so you understand how it works. So the exponential percentage is going to be 2 divided by the time period plus 1 and that's going to give us our percentage that we're going to factor in. So you can see here on a 50-day moving average 3.9% exponential period or percentage would be 2 divided by the time period which is 50 plus 1 and that gives us our 0.39 you add it and that's 3.9 percent. So what this means is that the most recent day will be weighted 3.9 percent of the value of the EMA. So it's going to be weighted much higher. It's not going to be weighted as an equal percentage. It's going to be weighted a little bit higher. So for a 50-day simple moving average each day that passes has a 2 percent weight except for this one right here. So how do we use this exponential moving averages? Well, there are two major ways to use them, just like simple moving averages. The first way is just by a pure price movement above or below the exponential moving average. The second way to use them is with a long or short term exponential moving average cross. So let's just take a look at both of these on my finger swim chart. So I have up here a chart of Apple stock, and you can see that on here, I'm just gonna use this to highlight what I mean by the fact that they're virtually the same, get rid of those other ones. So up here I have a simple moving averages, average of 50 days and I have an exponential moving average of 50 days in red. So you can see that they're generally both moving in the same direction. There's not too much divergence between them. But notice how when the market moves down dramatically back in January of 2008 and 2009 that the exponential moving average had a quicker reaction to the market moving lower and also had a quicker reaction to the market moving higher. You can see how it just kind of mirrors the market a little bit closer. Now the simple moving average during that time period again was moving down as well but it was just a little bit slower indicator. It had a little bit of a lag in it and you can see that there's a little bit of a gap. So it factors in these recent price changes or this big move in volatility that Apple had during that time period. So again, the exponential moving average is going to move a little bit quicker. Now, if we take a look at this chart, you can see that one of the two ways we can use this is by just a pure price breakout. So let's take, for example, back in January of 2008, Apple had closed below the exponential moving average. So that would be a signal right here to sell the stock short, just to close below. As soon as the stock closed above the exponential moving average in red, then again, this would be a signal right here to buy. Again, that's just a simple and pure price breakout. Now, if we add an overlay, let me just take a second here to apply studies. And I'm going to delete this one and apply another moving average. And then we can take a look at a moving average crossover. So let's just make this a 200 day exponential moving average. Okay, so here's our chart here of Apple again. So let's just highlight this area. And you can see that we got a moving average crossover back here in September of 2008. So as the shorter term moving indicator move or cross below the longer term, and you can see the longer term is here in blue 
this 200 day exponential moving average, then that again would give us our sell signal. And again, you can see that was a pretty good sell signal and kept us out of all of this mess down here. Now, as the stock starts to rebound and the shorter term indicator moves above the longer term, then that gives us a buy signal right here. And that would have been a pretty good buy signal leading into a nice rally in 2008 for Apple. So again, you can see how you can use these exponential moving averages as either just a pure price cross or you can use a longer and a shorter term in, uh, indicator to show divergence and long term trends. So as the shorter term trend is moving higher above the longer term, that gives us a bullish cross signal. If the shorter term trend crosses below the longer term, that's going to be a bearish cross signal. So as always, I hope you guys enjoy these videos and thanks for watching. Take a second just to share this video with any of your friends, family, or colleagues on your favorite social network.